Hey, Gwen, well, what's the <laughs> aftermath like of a season like this ending as it did? Um, you know, you come in, you talk about it. Uh, you go over what you're going to do for the off offseason. Um, you go over things that you accomplished this year. Uh, it's obviously the way that the year ended sucks. Um, we didn't go out how we would like to go out, but there's a lot of good that happened this year and a lot of things you could prove on and build from. So um, that's really what was, you know, the, the mindset and, and the conversation that was had uh, you know, this morning. While the loss is still fresh, how satisfying was this year for you? Fully healthy to get to the playoffs and have a solid year? Uh, it was fun. Uh, it was fun. Uh, it's something that I always wanted to do. I uh, always wanted to play in the playoffs, complete in the playoffs, and compete for a championship. Um, obviously, the first couple of years here didn't happen. Um, I believe that we'll, we'll, we'll get to the spot uh, at some point, um, and I want to be part of it. I've been vocal about that, and uh, we're able to accomplish that this year. Um, and um, you know, whatever the future holds. The contract has kind of been in the, on the back burner all season, I know, but now the season's over. Like, what are you looking for? Uh, what would you know? You kind of reset the running back market. What's just your goals? Um, I mean, I'm not really too concerned about resetting any markets or anything like that. Um, I'm realistic. Uh, I know where I was on, you know, pace to do, uh, but having two years of filled over injuries and you know having a season of not performing to the level that I know I could perform uh, doesn't help. Uh, but I think I was able to show that the type of caliber of player I am um, and the things I'm able to do on a football field. Um, that was something that I, that's something I wanted to do. That was my goal this year, and I was able to accomplish that. Um, and now it's just, you know, sit down with my agent, Kim, um, and see what happens. Do you even entertain the thought of not walking back into this locker room? Uh, no. Um, you know, like I said, I, I couldn't imagine that being the last time uh, being in a Giants uniform. Um, but that's just the nature of the business, you know. I can't control any of that. Uh, it comes with it. Um, I've been vocal how I feel, um, and I'm excited for the future, no matter what happens. And that's that's really what I Saquon, there, there is that, that sports cliche out there, the the hometown dis. Sorry, that's not here. No, sorry, the, the hometown discount is kind of what people talk about. I mean, is that in your mind at all, or for you? I want to do what's best for me. I have to do what's best for me. Um. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to really get in, into that. I, I, I got to sit down and really talk to Kim and um, figure out the numbers and figure out everything. Obviously, we had a conversation in the middle of the season about it, um, but when after the bye week, really put that to rest, um, then focus on it, focus on the season and try to compete for a championship. Um, you know, all that conversation will come up uh, uh, pretty soon. Were those Have conversations you, productive, those, 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 those talks that you guys had in the middle of the season? Did you feel it kind of bridged the gap a little bit? Uh, I mean, at the time, you know, we, we would love to have got the deal done during the bye week. Um, you know, obviously it wasn't able to get done, um, but it's fun. It's, it's like a you, you kind of learn like the business side of it and learn the numbers of it. And, uh, you know, you're not really focused on that as a player, but you could see that side of it a little bit. But, um, yeah, it was definitely helpful um, knowing where, where I guess where we could be or where we want to be. Uh, for next year, but like I said, all that is out of my control. Um, the season's still fresh. We just lost. Um, you know, I'm really focused on you know just wrapping up this year on a good note. And that's in his locker room. Spend time with the players. Spend time with the guys. Uh, you know, whether it's getting dinner tonight or something like that, and um, recapping the season. There's obviously a huge business side or aspect to it all, right? And on anything can happen when it gets to that point. Have you? Has it even sunk into you that that? You never know how it plays out. That could have been your last game as a Giant. Uh, Do you no. allow yourself to think that? No, you don't. Uh, I guess if that was to become the case, you know, I, I reflect on it in, in that moment. But uh, I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty positive thinker. Um, I'm just happy living life. You know, I'm a little kid. Play for a great organization. Play the sport that I love. Um, and the sad thing is, it's at this time of your life and in this profession it is a business so whatever happens happens but you know I can't control that um, I will sit down with Kim and figure that stuff out and eventually maybe I don't know in coming days or weeks would you will you look back on this season team wise as the most fulfillment you've had as a pro yeah it's easy um, just not even off of like the record or competing in the playoffs just how much fun it was 
uh, playing ping pong, um, the competitive nature in off season, uh, all the little things um, that that helped build a team. Kind of felt more of like a college vibe. Um, you know, these are guys that you're you're going to be friends with for the rest of your lives, and uh, it was fun. Obviously, the season ended up how we would like, but definitely, you know, the most fun I had in a long time. Will you watch that game back? I haven't watched it yet, but yeah, definitely we'll go back and watch it. Um, you know, just being in it, and not watching the film, but just being in it. You know, they were the better team. You know, they showed up, we didn't show up, and they made more plays than us.